This is definitely something I only do once in a while. This is dinner. Whole thing of cottage cheese. John Barron's. Uh, newsletter I got. Daily health tip or something. I was talking about how milk is all hyped and they actually did studies and people suffer from more. It's actually not good to drink a lot of milk. Uh, but they say the, the detriments don't apply so much to like yogurt and stuff like that. Um, probably because it has the bacteria, it doesn't have something that pure milk has, but milk is hyped and it's really not as good for you as you think. Um, from John Rappaport's No More Fake News, I got an article so fitting on psych the bullshit psychiatry industry. And it was an article I already read but loved. Um, he sent it out again and I read it again. The whole thing. Um, Walmart just benefited from my, uh, my error, my, my, uh, accidentally, I picked up my thing of cottage cheese and somehow tipped it over, I don't know how that happened, but he benefited because when it ended up on the counter, I'm not going to eat it off the counter, he can, not that I put him up there to eat it off the counter, but I scraped it under the cover of this and I put it on the floor for him. I'm not going to eat it off the counter. Even though I had cleaned the counter, I still don't want to eat it off the counter. Uh, luckily, the whole thing didn't dump out. I, like, caught it. When it didn't, it, some of it dumped out, but not, and I gave it to him. So, and he got a little cottage cheese treat. It was my, oh, well, I'm genius, what do you want to call it? Um, yeah. This has black apple cider vinegar in it. But yeah, that was the thing with cousin. You know, she might be family, but she still was this. Her status was still new friend. You know, and new friend does not. overstep her boundaries and and get on my case over doing YouTube, something I've been doing for seven years, you know? New friend wasn't even mm. ever going to even be a part of my life again, you know? And you're not instantly a part of my life that I won't let go if you you know what I mean. I told you up front. I make no apologies for doing YouTube. I told her that up front. And then when push came to shove, and she believed every word that was coming out of Uncle's mouth to her, and 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 my lawyer thinks a lot of it was probably a lie, a blatant lie. Well, thing about me defacing personal letters that that Auntie had given to. You know, my dead auntie, you know, my parents that used to, had given to my mom when, before auntie was, had died, you know, right when she was dying, it's, 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 it's a bull bullshit. And cousin was so quick to believe that, that pissed me off. She was not believing me when I was telling her I didn't do that, and I got my mom to call her. I hung up on my cousin because she was getting on my case about the YouTube thing. But then I got my mom to call her and my mom didn't want to. Please, mom, she's thinking. Uncle called her and told her that I... Did Did auntie ever give you, you know, any personal letters when she was dying? No. Yeah, I know. At that point, I couldn't even... My detective brain hadn't yet processed. Like, I'm, I was thinking, where would uncle have come up with that? He didn't make it up out of the blue. Um, and then I realized what had happened. 
Auntie had showed him. Auntie had shown him the notes. Auntie had shown him the videos where I had hung, I videotaped me that with the notes hung up in my mom's house. And Auntie had showed him the notes and then showed him the back of the notes. That was the stuff I told you it was not personal things to my mom. It was stuff I had copied from the site she was writing, a, 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 a like a diary of her, of her journey towards death. And, you know, and it's nothing that I can't print out again. Okay. And out on the YouTube videos, you can't tell what's on the back of any of those notes. So, again, Uncle may have been saying some truth to my cousin, but he also, my lawyer believes that, that he and Auntie con were conspiring to drive me nuts and knew that anything that he said to cousin, Auntie can't call cousin, you know, cousin despises Auntie. Uncle, even though he had... She wanted, cousin wanted nothing to do with him or whatnot, but when he called, she listened to him and then so quick to jump down my throat, you know. And I, I don't like that. And like I said, and you, you know, I'll, I'll, you know, I've lost everyone. I'll give you up too. You're not going to get on my case about something that means this much to me that you don't understand. So to you, I should just do it. If it's hurting my mother, I should just stop, you know. Meanwhile, we don't even know that they're even watching the videos. We have no no proof of that. It only, it's only hearsay. It's only what Uncle's saying. He could just be lying. He and Auntie could just be conspiring to drive me nuts, like my lawyer said. And my shoulder is that. You know. As for the other shelter friend, the one I was supposed to hang out with Halloween, and then both our lives like fell apart in different ways, but I don't even know what's up with her. Hope she's all right. Our mutual friend, the shelter friend, who has her act together and whatnot, um, well, as much as you can being in a shelter, you know, I know that only too well. Um, She's like, yeah, I don't know what's up with her. I'm like, she's like, I told her to call you, but she's not doing it. Yeah, it might be just as well. Just give her a hug for me if you see her. Tell her I'm thinking about her. Okay, I will. If I did ever bump into her, knowing what I know by our mutual friend and, and whatnot, but even knowing her as I know her, because she's kind of, you know, I, I wouldn't sit there and tell her everything that had happened. It's too much to process, and she's going through her own fucking shit. And my stuff is just too much, it's too complicated, it's too whatever. But I want to tell our mutual friend, the one I just saw, um, you know, this past Monday and told her all the latest. Oh, and I could only tell her the latest up till that point, because remember, that was the day that my mom said that Auntie was going to come pick her up for a day out and whatnot, and they were going to, um go to the bank and I didn't know about the events that transpired at the bank until Tuesday, until yesterday, so more to tell her. I don't know if she's going to get on my case um, about changing my phone number and not wanting anything to do now with that lawyer. It's not any of her business. If I don't, I don't have to go to the court. I don't have to get lawyers. I don't have to do anything. Maybe I'm just burnt out, you know.
I don't know what's going on with my mom. She says she's not going to have anyone name on, on this. I'm like, you actually have to. I guess Auntie had, had said you want to, you, Auntie, I'm sure I planned it all the time, but she asked, do you want to add me, you know, you know, in case you went up in the hospital, someone has to pay bills and, and whatnot. And then my mom was going to add her and then look what, what happened and embarrassment and, and, and hassle and, in the end, it didn't happen, and then, so, but if that's what Auntie had wanted, I'm sure my mom's going to do it for any, when she wrote to the new account, she says she's not going to, she says she's just going to deal with, not even have, just have a save and just deal with cash or, or whatever, but I can't stand Auntie, but Auntie is right when she tells my mother, if you wind up, somebody has to be able to, someone has to be on your account, someone has to pay your bills if you wind up in the hospital, or et cetera, et cetera, you know, and, and then my mom said, like, I'm going to make sure I don't want, she said this to me, I'm going to make sure I don't wind up in the hospital again, yeah, how many times just over the last two years? Have I heard you utter those words? Or variations on them? In the beginning, when I first said, move, as, long, my, as long as I take my medication, no one can put me in the hospital. My psychologist told me no one can put me in the hospital. Not true. But you wound up calling and, and, and getting you sectioned again when you had a breakdown when Auntie you know, beloved to you, auntie, was dying and whatnot. And of course, my enemy auntie was like, your mother's not upset about auntie dying. She's just not on, she's stopped taking her medication. She didn't, stopped working or, oh, shut the fuck up. Stop negating my mother. I'm sick of you. Um. Oh, this ought to be interesting when I watch this video. I can't even continue my thought. I don't even know what I was just saying. Time to go to bed, I think. Or my usual nowadays of giving into exhaustion and then not brushing and washing my, brushing my teeth and washing my face and then waking up a few hours later. Mm. I drink all this drink, so I, I, it might only be an hour later. Or it'll wake me up to a pee, pee so it's basically just a nap. Even if it's ten now and I wake up at one, I could have easily just gone to bed at one and not not brush my teeth and wash my face right before I was going to bed. So let's call it a nap, okay? Mm. It's not me going to bed for the night. It's a nap. <laughs> <laughs>